What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing Apple CarPlay in the um, 340, but I just wanted to preface this video that the first part was filmed a couple of weeks ago, that's why the car doesn't have like the GTS hood or the spoiler or anything like that. So that's why it might look a little bit weird at first, but there's actually like two parts to this video and it'll make sense later. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Good morning. Good. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So as you guys know, I don't have Apple CarPlay in this car. Turns out the iDrive was like software updated to an older version, software downdated. <laughs> whatever so yeah which is kind of weird who knows why like maybe the person took it to a dealer and had like a factory reset or the dealership that sold it to me did something i don't really know but i had the guys over at define coding look at my car and they told me that the car should have had like a newer iDrive system software and it didn't i'm on like the really old one so right now this car it, it only has i only have bluetooth capabilities which is Dumb. I definitely want CarPlay in my car. Like I've been working with just Bluetooth in the car for the past couple of weeks since I've owned it. And it is starting to like get annoying. I'm not gonna lie because I'm so used to CarPlay. I have it in all my other cars. So it's just kind of the point where I'm like, damn dude, I really need to get CarPlay in this car. So I talked to them and they can actually code it in for me. Basically, they're just gonna do a whole software update on this iDrive. Kind of like how we did the brakes, like he wirelessly tapped in via TeamViewer, and then he's gonna go ahead and perform the update, but it takes like an hour and you have to have a PC to do it, which I don't have. So I'm going to CES to use their PC. Define Coding is gonna tap in and do the software update. And then he also sent me like an antenna thing that I need to install. I'm gonna ask him like what that means. Cause honestly, bro, I, I don't know. I don't know a lot about like this uh, installing CarPlay on a car like this. So he sent me this like antenna thing that I have to install, but it's not here yet. He said, however, we can still code it in and you can still use it. Um, but for whatever reason, we are gonna need the antenna thing. So I'll talk a little bit about that once I ask him questions and understand it a little bit more. But if you guys are in my situation and you need CarPlay in your, I guess, newer, uh, like 2016 plus F30, then you can go ahead and have it coded in. I'm gonna leave all their information down below. I don't know how in depth this video is gonna be because really these guys are just gonna like tap into my car and do it all for me, but I will show you like the before and after and show you all the full functionality and I'll ask them about the antenna thing and see exactly like what that means and what changes when I install that. So let's head to the shop and get this started, man. I'm really excited to get Apple CarPlay back in this car, like have my maps and everything up on the screen, Spotify, all that stuff. I miss having it. Spent all morning bedding in the brakes. Had to like get up super early so there's no traffic. But yeah, that took that took a good hour <laughs> to bed in the brakes, man. It's hard to find like a lot of road where you can just go 60 and then stop and then go 60 and stop. Had to do that 10 times and then drive around for like 20 minutes, cool off the brakes and then do the process all over again. But they're all bedded in. Not to state like the obvious, but the brakes are 10 times better, dude, this car feels so much more stable when coming to a stop. I think it also has a lot to do with like the fact that my old rotors were just done. Like they were completely trashed. Every time I would stop the car, it would like wobble and shake. So yeah, it's definitely nice to have a whole new braking system on the car and one that is really, really good. Not only does the car stop really well, but they look amazing. I'm so happy with them. And then once you guys see the wheels that I did with this, like the, everything's gonna come together and it's just gonna look fire. You guys might've also seen that I did get my turbo. It is a dynamic auto work turbo and I'm so hyped to uh, be working with those guys. We're gonna be doing the install over at CES Motorsport along with my Dorch high pressure fuel pump stage two and tuning and all of that good stuff. It's going to be sick, man. This car is coming together and it's coming together fast. <laughs> yeah, so on the screen right now, that's basically all I have. Um, I did shortcut in my sport display and my vehicle information, all that stuff. Um, a lot of that stuff is the same, but like you obviously don't have the functionality of CarPlay, which is just wiggity whack. You go to multimedia, it's literally that's it. External devices, 
and then uh, Bluetooth. I definitely got used to having that CarPlay in all of my cars and it is so nice to have. So coating this in is gonna make a big difference. Um, a lot of you guys were asking about the steering wheel. I know, dude, I'm really sorry about that. I made that video and I didn't realize that they were changing the website. So they ended up changing the website on me and all the links are broken. So, but this wheel was like four, it's in the high 400s. Um, it's under $500, I know that. And so a lot of people were like, oh, well, it's not even a full steering wheel. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why it's not the full price. You know, it's like a cheaper option if you already have an M Sport steering wheel and you're just looking for like the carbon trim or the Alcantara or whatever. The stitching is really nice. I also had someone say that like the stitching looks cheap. I don't think it's cheap at all. I've had a lot of really nice steering wheels really expensive ones and I have zero issues with this stitching. I mean, I'm not like a, I'm not an expert when it comes to stitches, but <laughs> I would say that these are probably just fine. Everything else uh, on the wheel is great. I do like the feeling of the carbon paddles and these are actual carbon. Had someone ask about that as well. You are looking for more of like a click, like a thicker like click out of your paddles. These probably aren't the ones. These are a little bit like softer when you're changing gears, but they're still very nice. So yeah, it's just a good affordable option. You know, like if you guys are looking for something other than like a full on custom steering wheel, because People will complain about, you know, wheels like this, but then they'll complain because nice wheels are too expensive. Full custom wheels are like twice the price of what this would be. So not everyone is in the ball game to buy a thousand dollar steering wheel. And if you're not, this is a good option. So that's why I made the video. And I know that a lot of you guys understand that. And some of you guys will take advantage of it. And some of you may not, which is totally fine. I'm just showing you what else is out there. All right, pulling up to the shop, CES. Huge shout out to these guys for letting me use their, uh... oh, I'm gonna scrape for sure. Just a little scrapey. <laughs> Huge shout out to these guys for letting me use their laptop and their spot for the uh, the day, just so I can get this thing knocked out. I don't have a PC, dude. I'm a Mac guy. All these coding guys need PCs. <laughs> all right, we are all hooked up here. The boys are about to sign in, do their thing, and then hopefully this all works. It might take like an hour for them to do this. I'm gonna hook this up to a battery charger so we make sure that we don't uh, lose juice while we're doing this super important. Yeah, we have it on a battery charger right now. Do you know, so what is the difference with the, I know you had mentioned to uh, wait till we get that antenna thing. So what does that do exactly? It's basically what gives it, you know, everything, everything needs to connect properly in, in short. So without it, the, connect, the connectivity won't be that great. Okay. Even though it's way to you, I'm not sure why it's been held up. If it takes any longer, I'll send you out another one, but my advice to them would just be to wait for it. Because ours are OEM, they're a lot better than like the sort of when you pop stick ones you see and you know you can plug it in and forget about it with some of the other ones you've got stick them to start and then it doesn't work properly and yeah. So I will see, still be able to use it. It just won't be as good of a connection as when I have the wireless piece. Yeah, basically, yeah. It, it'll probably drop in and out a fair bit. I mean, I, we don't ever install it about, but like, some companies do, but for me, it's just like, you know, if it needs the antenna, like, it has to have the antenna fit or, you know, yeah, I install yeah. it. Yeah, well, that makes sense. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys caught all that, but we have the car all hooked up. It's ready to go. Put it on the battery charger, and so it might take about like, a little over an hour, possibly, which is fine. I prepared for that. But with the antenna that they are sending me in the mail, it's going to be better connection. It's going to be a stronger connection while using Apple CarPlay. You can still use it without it, but it's going to be a better connection with it. So once we get that, we will install that as well. But at least now I'll actually have CarPlay and I can use it. Let's see if the vlog wants me to buy this 135. I want to do a 135 build really bad. N54. And this would be a good one to do. Mr. John here at CES has it. I'm trying to convince him to, to give it to me for less than an arm and a leg. <laughs> <laughs> but how sick would a build like this be? There's a guy on Instagram, I'm gonna put up photos of his car right here that did a uh, 135 build and he has like the 1M conversion. Dude, it looks so freaking good. And uh, yeah, and they're quick, man. You can make them really quick. Obviously CES makes the bigger um, bottom mount turbo kits for these cars and they're just mental builds. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Kind of like Jake Spence. Jake Spence has one of these. Looks like a fun build. Got M2 Ghost up here. Lots of stuff happening. Some people were asking about this wide body E36. That's uh, John, the owner's, uh, one of his builds. He's working on it. And then he also has his turbo E36 M3 that they're doing. Ooh, I just got some exciting news. So it turns out my iDrive is actually already on ID6, but for whatever reason, whoever coded it in before just didn't finish all the coding. So Define Coding fixed all of that, did it properly, and now they're putting in the CarPlay 
in addition to that, Define Coding also does XHP. I've wanted to do XHP, so I figured I already got them on the phone, the car's already connected, go ahead and put XHP on the car. We're gonna do stage three, which it sounds like a lot of people do. So that will be really cool. I'm excited for that. I have to like granny the car for 50 miles, so I really can't like beat on it for the next 50 miles. But in 50 miles, we will make a video talking about XHP when I can fully get on it and kind of show you guys how much quicker it is with shifting and everything. I'm excited though, this is, this is a big day. So not only are we getting CarPlay, but we're also getting XHP. Yes sir, we are officially Apple CarPlay. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. We're gonna finally wrap this one up. I know this video is a little bit all over the place. I actually had the Apple CarPlay coded in a week ago and now my wireless antenna has showed up. So this is actually the antenna that allows the phone to interact with the CarPlay system. I was able to use the CarPlay without the antenna, but it went in and out. It wasn't that great of a connection. So you do need this piece in order to finish it off. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install this and I'll show you guys the full CarPlay system Big shout out to the guys over at Define Coding for sending out the antenna, coding in everything I needed as well as XHP. Super easy to work with those guys. Literally just connected the car to the laptop and they did everything for me. I'm gonna have all their information linked down below if you guys are interested in having them help you out, but we're gonna go ahead and hop in the car and I'm gonna show you guys how to install this. I did also spend another half hour or so this morning working on the hood and getting it lined up, dude, and it's like flawless at this point. It looks really good. I went back in and adjusted a few more things with the um, the bolt, the 13 millimeters that hold on the hood up here. And then I ended up moving the bumper in just a little bit more, kind of evening out the gap through here. And then I also moved the fender just a touch in on this side probably a little bit too tight. I could back it off a little bit, but there was a pretty big gap over here. So there's like a 10 mil right here and I just pushed it in a little bit. So that's where she stands right now. I'm really happy with it. I don't think there's really any need to go any further into this hood. I think it fits really well at this point. I think it looks really good. I've actually seen like OEM hoods fit a lot worse than this. So we're gonna send it. I'm happy with it. I also ended up getting some new tires. The wheels come this week and I went with the Yokohama Advan Apex tires. Now I didn't wanna go for like the RT660s or R888s because honestly those are um, pretty rough in the rain and I needed something that was a little more dailyable. I am gonna be taking this car out of state to different car shows and I don't wanna be trapped somewhere if it ends up raining. I do have Michelin Pilot PS4s on the car right now which are great tires. I'm gonna keep them on my 437Ms and no, I'm not selling the 437Ms. Those are mine, they're staying in the garage with the car as a separate set of wheels. But when the new ones get here we will wrap them in these and I've never tried these out my friend James tried these and he loves them so we're gonna give them a shot and see what they're all about as far as what's available right now all I could get in the sizes that I have are the ps4s and the apexes those are the only two that were readily available in 235 40 and 265 35 so I just decided to go for these these are also a little bit cheaper than the Michelin ps4s I think it was like something like $75 to $100 cheaper per tire which is crazy looked up a couple of reviews and they were pretty good most people rated these at like a seven or eight out of 10, you know, where if like the Michelin PS4 is like a 10 out of 10, these would be like a seven or eight out of 10. I don't expect these to be as great as those, but I do think for what we're doing in this car, they're gonna be perfectly fine. So today is actually Saturday. The new wheels will show up on uh, Monday and then I'm gonna be at CES all week working on performance stuff, but we'll get that video out for you guys so you can see what we went with. I think you're gonna like it. All right, as far as tools that we need for this, we are gonna need, there's a couple of torques in there. I think they're like T25s, but I'll confirm it. And then we will need a trim tool. We'll just go with this guy. And the installation on this is really, really simple. So if we hop in the car, the two things that we're gonna be taking out, well actually three, take this trim piece out right here. You can do it with your hands, but I'll probably pop a trim tool back here and just pull it out. This whole thing comes right out. There's a plug back here for these buttons. And then there are a couple of Torx bolts that we need to pop out for this guy. Um, we'll take off this bottom piece as well. It's all pretty simple and self-explanatory. Um, just be careful when you're taking off this top trim piece because you can crack this over here. Just be really careful when you're popping these clips out. We'll go ahead and remove everything and then pull out this accessory panel. And then behind here is the actual like head unit piece that we'll pull out. And then behind that is a plug for this. And this is literally just a wireless antenna to interact 
interact with your phone. And once we do that, I'm gonna show you guys the full screen Apple CarPlay, which is a game changer in this car. I've had it in all my other cars and I didn't have it in this car. And honestly, it was starting to annoy me. So now we will be fully equipped with full screen Apple CarPlay. So once you get to this part, it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to show you guys, but there is a pink plug right there and it's open, nothing is in it. And so we are gonna take our new antenna and we're gonna plug this directly into that. So that's literally all you need to do. And then just go ahead and tuck this back there, nice and safe, and then reassemble everything. Okay, so yeah, pretty easy installation. Take you five minutes to get that done. Not too difficult. Now is the moment of truth. Let's see if we got full screen Apple CarPlay. iDrive settings, mobile devices, iPhone. All right, so we're gonna delete the device. But for you guys, it's gonna be connect a new device. And then we'll go to Apple CarPlay connect Apple CarPlay and confirm. So you're gonna see this, it's gonna pop up. Pretty self-explanatory, it tells you that you need to find it on your phone. So we'll go into here. Um, let's forget this one. We're basically resetting it up for you guys. Just to show you like how it goes down. Pair it, allow, okay. And then it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna connect to it. Bam, and we have full screen. Apple CarPlay. Yes, dude, this is so good. So I couldn't get this far previously. Um, it kept dropping out because I didn't have that little antenna piece, but now we are good, yo. Right back in it. I'm listening to a lot of Mac Miller lately. I love it. So I gotta kinda get used to this setup. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to, but dude, having this full screen is a game changer. Hell yeah. That's what's up. So there you guys go. It works. Full screen, Apple CarPlay. So I know there are a few different ways to do this. If you um, don't have all the stuff to do it yourself, you can like order a whole package. If you have like the older screen, you can go ahead and do that. On my 328, I didn't have the bigger screen. And so I actually did like an entire retrofit by Beamer Tech, which worked pretty good. However, I didn't have the Apple CarPlay in that car. I just had like Bluetooth audio. I just never went as far to do the um, Apple CarPlay, but you can buy those pieces, like the MMI pieces for Apple CarPlay and install that yourself if you want. However, if you have a 2016 up, you can just have it coded in. So I have the older iDrive system in here and Define Coding coded in the newer iDrive system, fixed all the bugs, went ahead, put it in Apple CarPlay, got the antenna, thrown it in, now we're good. And we got XHP, which I'm gonna have a video coming out on that soon, so. Anyways, guys, I know this video is a little bit all over the place, sorry about that. We actually did the coding like a week ago and then finally the antenna showed up and I just wanted to do it all like in one video to show you it working properly and all of it done. And now we're good. I'll leave Define Coding's information down below if you wanna hit them up. And um, if you need any coding done, like they coded my brakes on the car, the M Performance brakes on this car, and then obviously like the CarPlay and XHP, they can do a lot of stuff. So if you need any like BMW coding stuff, hit them up they are the dudes anyways guys i appreciate you so much thanks so much for watching love you see you in the next one peace just here stating facts you want me to take you back i want you to take me back you want me to take you back i want you to take me back so tell me is you